Okay, so I start with code. So, uh, first, for my analysis, I will start with a static structural. And then I will choose the engineering data, which will determine what material I want for my object. So here we go to the engineering data sources and we go to the general materials and for my analysis I would want my uh, object to be use aluminium alloy so we add this to our library and then we can close this so step 3 we go for the geometry and choose uh, and we import the the, uh, the geometry that we wanted so here I've got uh, the carabiner and for step 4, 5 and 6 as well as 7 um, it will be uh, solved here we will edit it Okay, so here is the model, the carabiner. So firstly, we will um, set the material for each of the parts of the model. So for the body of the carabiner, I will set the material to aluminium alloy that we've chosen just now. And for the clasp as well, it would be uh, aluminium alloy. Here for the pin, uh, it will be set for stru uh, structural steel. So then we can close this uh, and we generate our mesh. The size, the element size, uh, I would be using is the default settings from the ANSYS program. Now we will set our boundary conditions. I will insert a force. For here, here as well as here and then apply but I will define it with a compound because I want to restrict it on the x-axis with a failure load of 20 kN so now the force that will be acting on the carabiner is only acting on the x-axis uh, then we will set another boundary condition which is the fixed support we will apply it here and here then hit apply next I would like ANSYS to help me solve for total deformation so we insert for total deformation here and solve for equivalent strain as well as equivalent stress then hit solve so if we look at total deformation we can see the deformation that has uh, ANSYS has calculated on my model I will set it to true scale so that we can see uh, because the scale just now was exaggerated and you can see at the red zone areas here this is where the maximum uh, the maximum deformation is and for equiv and then uh, outset for the minimum maximum so we can see for the equivalent elastic strain here here we can see that the maximum strain uh, on the object is hidden on the body of the carabiner which is a localized area here as well as for the stress is located here so I think that's it thank you